Well, Leslie, kind of quiet right now, and the Emancipation Memorial, of course, remains standing, obviously. But for the group that gathered here earlier today, they say they will be back to tear down what they call a symbol of racism. Are you angry? Yes! yes. Are you angry? Yes. yes! After weeks of gatherings and rallies around D.C., on Tuesday, protesters set their sights on the Emancipation Memorial. You will hear us! The landmark, paid for by freed slaves and now over 140 years old, facing calls to be removed. This is a revolution. There you go, brother. This is a change. For the supporters who carried signs and spoke at the site, they say it represents racism. Walk me through it. What do you see when you look at that statue? It tells me that this white man is superior um, and that, you know, he's granting permission. The gathering bringing out at least two dozen officers, some with riot shields and helmets, after organizers originally said they would attempt to bring down the statue. Instead, speeches and discussions at times got heated, with some questioning the group's approach. This brother is demanding that right. After this blows over, then where are we going to stand then? Others in the crowd wanted to see the statue stay, saying it provides educational value for civil rights. That man is not looking out or gazing into the eyes of Abraham Lincoln, he's gazing into the eyes of hope, aspiration. A movement calling for change and now hoping to see a symbol of the past taken down. The people! If Mary Bowser can paint Black Lives Matter in front of the White House, she can definitely tear the statue down. The Freedom Neighborhood Group organized this evening's event and they say they will be back Thursday at 7 p.m., possibly with even more support as they attempt to take this statue down. Live in Lincoln Park, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.